Hello and welcome to Interclimate. My name is Shalin and in today's video we will understand the rules and the provisions related to the consent certificates and waste management authorization in hospitals and healthcare establishments. As per the Air Act, Water Act and the hazardous waste management rules, a consent certificate also known as the pollution NOC is required by all public or private healthcare establishments like clinics, healthcare facilities, hospitals and medical laboratories. As per the CPCB category of the list of industries, a hospital or a healthcare facility is mainly water polluting. While there are solid, hazardous and biomedical waste generated by these units, they are segregated at the source. The wastewater that is generated must be treated before it reaches the sewage. Therefore, these establishment needs an NOC from the concerned State Pollution Control Board or the Pollution Control Committee. These biomedical waste generated during the treatment is separated and treated either within the facility or sent to a common biomedical waste treatment facility. An authorization is also required for the disposal of biomedical waste, also known as the biomedical waste authorization. Let's understand the criteria for the Pollution Control Board certificate for hospitals and healthcare establishments. So the disposal of wastewater is based on two factors the quality of wastewater generated and the presence of an incineration facility on the hospital's premises. As per the CPCB guidelines, if the water pollution score for a healthcare facility is normalized to 100, it applies to hospitals generating more than 100 kiloliters of wastewater per day. In fact, hospitals with incinerators for biomedical waste disposal are categorized under the red category irrespective of the quantity of wastewater generated. Hospitals having a total wastewater generation of less than 100 kiloliters per day and without incinerators are categorized in the orange category. So, if you have identified in what category your health care facility belongs, let's understand how you can apply to the Pollution Control Board for the Pollution NOC. As with any other industrial establishment, the application process of Pollution Control Board consent for hospitals and healthcare establishment follows three stages. That is application, document scrutiny and the issuance of pollution NOC. The consent certificate is issued in two parts. First, before the construction of the facility begins for which the consent to establish is given. The next stage is when the project is complete and ready to function. At this stage, the consent to operate is issued. Let's understand the consent process step by step. So, step 1 is the application and submission of the fees. The facility must apply for consent to their respective State Pollution Control Board or Pollution Control Committee through the online consent management and monitoring system. Step 2 involves document scrutiny and site inspection. Here, an inspector will obtain information about the location of the industry like the location of the facility, past consents, previous inspection reports, and notices issued to the industry for non-compliance and track record of this industry by conducting background information and previous compliance history of the applicant. This will enable the officer to get familiar with the nature of operations of the facility and specific areas that require more detailed investigation during the inspection. The inspecting officer will inform the occupier or his representative for the purpose of the inspection the inspecting officer will make an inspection report on factors like details about the location and boundaries of the site, effluent generation and control systems, collection, treatment and disposal areas for effluents, air pollution sources and the control systems installed, sources for solid waste, hazardous waste and their storage and disposal methods, operation as well as maintenance records of pollution control equipments for controlling air and noise pollution. Step 3 is the issuance of the pollution NOC. If the inspection report prepared by the site inspector is satisfactory, the facility will be issued an NOC. The chairman or the member secretary of the board will be the issuing authority. Now let's see what are the documents required for consent. Duly filled application form, undertaking in a prescribed format, site plan or layout plan with a roadmap, detailed project report, point source of effluent discharge, solid waste discharge or hazardous waste discharge, land documents such as copy of rent or lease proof, industry registration, consent fee, balance sheet prepared by a chartered accountant, details of air and water pollution control instruments and 
सॉलिड वेस्ट प्लास्टिक वेस्ट हजार्डस वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट प्रोविजन लेबोरेटरी एनालिसिस रिपोर्ट ऑफ द ई टी पी कॉपी ऑफ एन इन्वायरमेंटल क्लियरेंस एन अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट सर्टिफिकेट दैट नीड्स टू बी ऑप्टेन्ड इज द बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट ऑथराइजेशन दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर फैसिलिटीज दैट जनरेट एंड डिस्पोज ऑफ द वेस्ट एज वेल एज फॉर दोज इस्टेब्लिशमेंट दैट यूज द सर्विसेज ऑफ अ कॉमन बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट ट्रीटमेंट फैसिलिटी सो बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट जनरेशन एंड सेग्रीगेशन ऑल्सो नीड्स एंड ऑथोराइजेशन फ्रॉम द एस पी सी बी अंडर द बायो वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट रूल्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन सो इवन इफ दे आर नॉट डिस्पोजिंग ऑफ बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट द हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज हैव टू अप्लाई फॉर ऑथराइजेशन फॉर द जनरेशन एंड द सेग्रीगेशन ऑफ बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट सो विद दिस वी हैव कम टू द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो However it is important to note that the state pollution control boards have been issuing guidelines and important orders to the state government and to medical councils of respective boards to effectively manage and dispose of the waste generated by hospitals and healthcare facilities in this situation applications for fresh as well as renewal applications must be made carefully and regularly and the climate can assist your healthcare establishments in the consent and authorization process and help you with your post compliances we are the leading environmental consultancy company renowned for our technology driven solutions for various environmental licensing and compliance services i hope you found this video informative please like this video if you did also subscribe to our channel for more such startup ideas and business solutions thank you